Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how to create an engaging animate slide using the morph transition in the PowerPoint. So first thing first, we need five images to add into our slide. So I'm going to copy from this one. Then we're gonna go to the format background to paste the image to the background. Then we're going to draw the rectangle to make a layer. Then we're going to change the color to the black one so that we can make it more contrast on the image background. And then I'm going to increase the transparency so that we can see the background image as well. And I'm going to remove the outline if the shape is exists. Just make sure that we help to remove the outline. Okay, then so we just uh, press Ctrl V to paste the image that we have to copy from the web browser. And then I'm going to crop into the square area so that we're going to use the uh, aspect radio one and one. And then we crop to the shape to the circle one. Then I'm going to resize this by set height and width. So in this, we're going to replace here. So then I'm going to create a new slice to place it under uh, in the other images. So we just do the same and repeat the process. Okay. Then I'm going to copy this layer and then paste it here and send it back. So for this image, before I'm cropping, I'm going to move it into the center like this and we do the crop. So I'm going to do it quickly. Then I'm going to cut these images to place to the first uh, slide. And apply some shadow into these images. Then go to picture format and choose the align. And choose this one for distribute vertically so that the gap between each images is gonna be separate and equal to each other. And I think this are side of images a little bit big, so I'm going to select all of this image and go to the picture formats to resize these images into the small one. Then I'm going to uh, design a gate pattern, just like we designed in the background for the image like that. So we just draw this shape and, and rotate into this angle and I think we should be moving into this side so that we can uh, uh, expand the lens to the short or to the long one. So I'm going to duplicate this column and place into the, next to each other like this. And I'm going to move this randomly in a different height. And then I'm going to select all of this um, column. And go to the format. And choose the option slide background fill. Then go to the effects to apply the shadow. So 
so I'm going to make this more darker so I'm going to change its uh, transparency on the layer then I'm going to apply all this light that we have created in before uh, the layer that we have created but the transparency just like uh, lighter than this one All right, so I'm going to copy all these elements and place on each uh, slide that we're going to do on it. To make it more cool or uh, cool effects to look, so we have to change to the various uh, randomly the high in each, each slide like this. So then in the content, for the content body contents, we can uh, add the title and as well as the body or context that you want to present to the audience as well. So for the body contents, you have to uh, make change some text so that it's gonna be it's not gonna be look like uh, the effect fade out or fade in something like that. So we have to change the uh, text a little bit. But for the real world or real presentation or real project, you may have a different text as well. It's okay for this one. So now we're going to design the indicator slide that we going to do. We're just going to select all of this uh, indicator to send it to the background so we have to do that because these are these uh, element or these indicators which is not the active slide that we were at that we're going to uh, presentation and for the active slide we're going to make this image bigger so we're going to do uh, and repeat the same process all of these slides So for the first, for the first slide, I'm going to make another slide that are going to initiate all of these slides. So which is a dummy slide or something like that. So after you design and made it uh, already, and then I'm going to select all of these slides that we going to animate and make the transition on it. So I then go into select the transitions and select the morph transition. And now we're going to see the result. All right, you can download this template in the description below. I have placed it and please like and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.